Hey everybody, welcome back to Global Conflict TCG. Ryan here with you. Um, going to be an update video for this one. Kind of an update devlog type of video. I know it's been a while since I posted, uh, but I can promise you that I have been working on Global Conflict the entire time. <laughs> the last, the entire last two months. Uh, but happy to be back here with you guys. So, um, you can see my screen here. I have Unity open right now. So I've legitimately spent the last two months just working on Global Conflict in Unity. Um, and it doesn't look like what I'm going to show you doesn't look like I've made a ton of progress But to be honest from considering where I started with you know, absolutely like no experience working in unity at all um, I'm actually pretty proud of how far I've come in unity and, and really how far this game has come um, So let me start with that um, You know, let's just hop right into it. So like I said, it's gonna be this is actually gonna be like a dev log video just going through you know what I'm doing with this game and you know anybody that's interested in unity and that kind of stuff um, You're more than welcome to you know tag along for the ride because I'm gonna keep posting update videos as I go along I think that I'm at a point now where I could actually start to share What I'm doing in the game and I think you know probably the next video I do with regards to global conflict TCG in unity um, I'll probably do some working sessions and just go through and, and just kind of work through the problems and, and film it for you guys so um, If you know, I think this is gonna be helpful for anybody trying to look for how to do card games in unity um, I I could tell you that I've watched probably every video under the Sun on YouTube about Making card games in unity and things like that. So this will just be another one to add to it But it might be helpful for helpful for some so Let's take a look. Um, we'll get out of the play, so you can see I got a hand, you know, a hand of cards here. Um, but this is this is the game right now. Um, you can see I have my game board. Um, I have spots. I have some prefabs of cards. I don't have the entire set in there yet because I'm still doing a lot of testing. Um, but what I'll tell you guys is really the breakthrough for this game and for me making this game in Unity was. The minute that I bought Playmaker from the Unity Asset Store, and if you don't know what Playmaker is, Playmaker is a visual scripting type of um, tool in Unity that allows you to um, create game logic and do, do things with game logic without having to create a C, C Sharp script or learning C Sharp to make scripts to create logic. Um, just to open it up, so Playmaker, let's take a look at like my startup manager. So I have a manager here for handling the entire startup process of the game. And I'm just, it's not done yet, I'm still working through it. But you can see the flow chart here where, you know, state number one, I'm uh, getting an array, which that's another major key. I'm using an array list to keep track of the, the entire deck in the game for player one and player two. So this array, you know, each array, you know, each player will have their own array. So this state here is getting the array get next from player one complete card set. Then from there, it's going to create the object and then add that to the player one deck array. So that's a separate array for the deck itself. Um, it'll loop through that a couple times. And so, you know, from here, it, it, we're going to shuffle the player one deck. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and array get next, create a loop loop again and then we're gonna find the child so long story short playmaker without playmaker I there's no way I would have gotten this far at all um, it just I don't know how to script in C sharp from the little bit of research I've done looking at YouTube videos and learning stuff online um, I started to make some stuff I made like a little like card drawing feature but ultimately when I found Playmaker and I really started to learn Playmaker and how to use actions and events and, and using arrays, um, that was the major breakthrough for myself. And now you can see here, just on the startup manager, look how complicated this is. Obviously, you can do this with C-sharp scripting, but for me, it's a whole lot easier actually just using Playmaker and seeing it visually, how I'm making the loops and all of those things. And, and setting up the states is really just a piece of cake. Like... Um, you know, I need to shuffle my deck. It's literally just one action call array shuffle. That's it <laughs> Super easy um, If I need to you know draw so like looking at this this manager here drawing So when you set up the card game, you're gonna need to draw the top You know shuffle your deck and then draw seven cards from your deck into your hand So this action this is doing that so array get next after my deck has already been shuffled It's gonna get the top card from the array 
and then from there it's gonna find child so this is one of the kind of wonky things I had to do but um, I did a bunch of different testing with arrays and trying to get things to work you know correctly and essentially what I had to do is create the objects off of the screen um, and then call them back with the array and and the find child function so just to show you what it looks like once I do all that it goes through it'll add it to um, or remove will remove the card from the player deck array um, wait 0.3 seconds that's just so it doesn't they don't just all flash on the screen at once um, it kind of looks like they're drawing cards so if I click play let's go ahead and do that click play game starts up and you're gonna see a couple things you're gonna see our deck counter going down so these are the number of cards that I have in my deck I started with 20 I have seven cards in my hand um, you can see that when I hover over with my my mouse that the cards will highlight that's um, a, a separate FSM action or FSM on each card that does that handles that stuff I could, I could actually even drag drag and drop if I want to um, I don't have the mechanic set up yet for you know like dragging into your well I do have it set up for the active spot for right now but um you could see kind of how that how this stuff works and then you know here's the the base area I could drop into my second active spot things like that so I'm still just getting started but like I said just the fact that I've gotten this far um, no way I could have done it without playmaker so if you guys are interested in this kind of in that kind of stuff and building games in, in unity I highly 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 recommend getting playmaker um, it has made my life you know thousand percent easier when working on this game um, and it actually for the first time I actually feel like I'm really going to be able to finish this project I think having the tools that I have now and some of my previous knowledge working with data and some of the other stuff and logic um, I'm gonna be able to finish this project so join me on the ride I'm going it's going to be a process I'm gonna be working on this probably for the next few months um, and as I go I'm gonna post devlogs and and just go over all the different steps and different obstacles that I run into and just as I figure those out join me and and We'll help figure those out together. So that's where I'm at so far. You could see I got the game board. I got some cards that I'm loading up. Um, I can start the game and it'll, it'll draw seven cards in my hand. I can move, drag and drop cards. Um, and yeah, it's coming along. Um, but it's, you know, it's taken me a while just to get to this point. Um, and mainly probably the biggest obstacle is really just figuring out how to keep track of the cards as they go throughout the game. Um, yeah, I've done gone through you know probably five different iterations of tracking cards, and eventually I just kind of settled on this this um, current method I'm using right now, which is really just creating all 60 cards in your deck right at the start of the game. You won't be able to see them all because they'll be off to the side, out out of the picture. Um, but as cards come out of your deck, they'll they'll get spawned onto your player hand and things like that. So um, I hope you guys find this interesting. This is just updates what I've been doing the last couple months working on this game. Uh, my goal is, you know, sometime this year to have this game complete and actually playable um, where I can come in and play like an AI. I plan on creating an AI opponent um, and then eventually having it online where you, I can, you know, create a, a server client and then play against somebody online. So that's the plan hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff um, I've been hacking away at this for a while um, but I'm gonna keep working on it and then I'll make sure I post another video here very soon once I get some more progress so all right um, otherwise I will catch you guys on that actually better yet I think I'm gonna make another video just going over the state of the actual physical card game itself as well um, been doing a lot of play testing in that regard so I'm gonna talk about some of that stuff but hope you guys enjoy it this can be a separate playlist for global conflict TCG online We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.